Hey, how are you going? It's Donna here and it is the 24th of October today, um, half hour lesson, so it'll go pretty quick. And yeah, I've bought a Maya Pivo arrived, so it's a rotating, um, a 360 degree rotating type of um, contraption that sits on your tripod, I suppose, and it holds your phone and it's meant to follow you. It's actually got a setting to follow the horse, so I'll set it to follow the horse and uh, hopefully I get some good footage today. Um, hopefully, providing I can use it. It seemed pretty straightforward when I set it up at home, so fingers crossed it all goes well today. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well and um, yeah, let's see what happens today. Bye. Hey, how you going? I just checked my gallery and discovered there was no video there. Um, I got the Pivo working, it worked really well, it was following me around and I mustn't have hit the record button. Uh. <laughs> and it's a shame because I actually had a really good ride today. Um, got the legs a lot quicker, like we started off with no stirrups and just going around the circle in a lunge. Uh, went both ways and things seemed to go pretty well. So get, I got my stirrups back after, you know, five, 10 minutes and um, things seemed to be sitting well. So we went, we actually, I, or my instructor said it actually looked like I was riding today. So doing a little bit more of the um, using the inside and outside leg to get a, a to get the horse to turn the, the right way and you know just just actually riding rather than focusing so much on the leg so that it's, a, it's really good to see some progress sometimes it seems like riding once a week just doesn't get you there but I guess oh if you give it enough time it does get you there um, which is which is awesome um, and I was telling my instructor how once upon a time before we focused on all the, all the legs, I mean, all, yeah, all the leg positioning, um, you know, I was doing things like learning how to do a shoulder in or learning how to do a leg yield and doing stuff like that. Um, and I said, I, I seem to have lost it all. I've seen to, I, I feel like I've forgotten how to do it all. And she said, well, now that, you know, we're getting the foundations right again, hopefully when we do do it, it'll come back a lot quicker. So it'll, and it'll seem a lot easier. And so I'm kind of, hoping because I started my lessons when I was 42 so four years ago um, admittedly I was riding once a fortnight for half an hour for the first year and a half maybe two years max and it wasn't until then that I then boosted my lessons up to weekly um, so you know when you when you think of it like that and and trying to develop muscle memory so that you sort of remember or your muscles sort of start to to know how they're meant to feel in certain scenarios, it, you know, I'm not, I'm probably not ex, um, expanding myself well enough, but just to, like today, for example, my legs seem to go pretty well. They stayed in pretty much the position they needed to. Um, and it's because I can sort of, I've, I've, I've developed a, a feel of how my legs need to feel while I'm sitting on the saddle and riding. And, you know, I think that's really important to be able to get that. And sometimes it's really hard to get that when you're only riding once a week or once a fortnight. But over time, do it enough times and focus on what it is you need to do for long enough. And eventually it gets there. So I don't know what was the motto of my story. Um, um, things take time, as someone told me, um, someone who commented on one of my videos, you know, TTT, things take time. And it's with anything in life, you know, you want to succeed at anything in life, you've, you've got to remain persistent. Persistence is the big key and not quitting. Um, I think they're probably the, one of the two major things that prevent a lot of people from succeeding at anything, to be honest with you, is they don't persist for long, for long enough and quit way too early. So that's not going to happen here. Um, I'm going to keep on going. Um, if you have any comments, any suggestions, anything at all, please feel free to, to type in something down below. I'd love to hear what you're thinking about my videos, if you're thinking anything at all. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, um, hopefully next week I will actually get some video footage for you, fingers crossed. Until then, have a great one. Ciao for now.